hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here today we're going to talk about the top five tips or or life hacks or hacks for engagement on Facebook the top five things you can do to grow your Facebook engagement to get people to actually see your post get people to actually comment on your post like your posts so they can grow your business grow your audience be more seen by the people that you're trying to reach so we're going to talk about those five top hacks for Facebook engagement in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so what are these five hacks you know if you're trying to sell a course trying to build a course trying to great generate income from the course income the the course income secrets is all about this right generating income from the e-learning boom and one thing you might be thinking is why are you talking about Facebook engagement well one of the things is you need people to see your stuff if you don't have people to see your stuff you're not going to generate any kind of income right so one of the things is generating engagement on Facebook on your post getting people to see your stuff so we're going to be talking about that and uh just a reminder if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to check out the video the video at cis367.jsgagnon.com and to go see the video and the blog post because I'm going to be sharing my screen all right so let's get right to it let me share my screen and talk show you what I'm talking about right so you're on Facebook you're navigating your feed you see these posts like this this guy here um I don't know who that is but it's a uh, probably one of my friends but he's got this post that's got 323 comments if I keep scrolling down right I mean the seven comments here 27 comments that's not too too bad right uh 94 comments with a hundred people that reacted to it then there's five then there's 16 then there's 80 comments right here right so how do these people get these because you know when I go look at my profile right I go look at my profile and I got these posts that I've done I've been actually doing some things to try to well I've been doing the things that I'm going to be talking to you about for about a week but it uh yeah about a week but it takes longer to to build up but right now so I don't have that many I don't have any look at this there's no comments here no comments here there's three there right there's there's no comments here there's two comments here none there not I mean it's it's ridiculous right I've been I've been building my brand for for over five years now and I'll post something and nobody sees it right why does nobody see it right why do nobody see these things like got four comments here I got and you know I got two comments even on this these these pictures of my daughters right uh five comments I got this computer thing four comments I mean it's ridiculous I get no engagement almost no engagement right and <clears throat> the reason is because Facebook and all other social media platforms really is a reciprocity game and this is where we get into the five hacks which are things that I've been posting about right and the thing is that it takes a while for it to build up and that's one of the things you'll see right here right Facebook number four join groups and spend five to ten minutes a day reacting and answering to questions in groups you gotta also and these are not the top five hacks by the way I'm gonna get into that in a second so you gotta you know go to five to ten friend profiles and love the last two posts obviously commenting as well but anyways like I said we're going to get into that in, in another one here be consistent patient persistent it takes time for reciprocity to kick in but that is definitely the number one thing is it's reciprocity I got I got some notes right here remember it's all about reciprocity number one that's 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 a hack how to understand that Facebook gets uh, some people get comments others don't it's because they understand that it's about reciprocity reciprocity means you know if you do one thing uh some to it'll come back to you you know the whole rule of attraction uh, not attraction marketing but um uh, what's it called the, the law of attraction right the fact that if you think positive thoughts positive things are gonna happen in your life if you think negative thoughts negative things are gonna happen in your life right reciprocity is is, is like that whatever you do it's going to happen back to you right so that's you know 
that's what uh, that's that's one of the main important things about Facebook is that if you like posts then people are going to start liking your stuff right if you um if you share posts people are going to start sharing your stuff if you if you um like posts with text you're going to start to see lots of posts with text and that's Facebook does that Facebook knows that if you like posts with pictures you're going to start to see lots more picture posts if you focus on one thing you're going to see more of that but also uh yeah reciprocity that's number one number one reciprocity reciprocity is key it's important it's just remember it's always about reciprocity if you sit there and you don't do anything on Facebook you don't do any engagement don't do any commenting you don't do any posting you don't do anything and then you post something uh, once a month and you get nobody in, in, engaging on it then <laughs> you might be like why why is nothing happening right why am I not why is nobody seeing my stuff right so I mean that's that's one of the keys right let me just move this around a little bit here because I need to be able to see that all right there's the there it is okay so right number one is reciprocity is key remember reciprocity reciprocity will save you and kill you every time if you forget about it and you think nobody's seeing my stuff well maybe you're not doing the actions right so reciprocity is key number one number two number two is if you take action they'll take action so it it ties into reciprocity right if you want somebody to to like like I said earlier if you want somebody to like your stuff you gotta like stuff if you want some and I'm not and then we're not talking about you know the person that you like their post is going to see your post you're, they're going to like your post that's not how it works it's not one-on-one -on -one reciprocity it's one to many and many to you so <coughs> if you like a post well let's say you like 10 posts right and you do that every single day for a week or even a month right and it's just 10 posts it doesn't take long to do that right it takes a few minutes if you like 10 posts of 10 different people every day and that's yeah that's one of the other things is you got to make sure that you're not just engaging and the thing okay so with Facebook the way it works is if you scroll through your feed you're going to see the posts from the same from the same people the same friends maybe a handful of friends right maybe 10 or maybe maybe 15 different friends all the time that's all you're going to see just the posts from these five people right these the why well, sorry these 10 15 people right you're going to see those posts there well, whatever they post in your feed pretty much all the time me what I've been doing the last week is is engaging on different things so now I'm starting to see a whole mishmash of stuff but still I see mostly the same people anyways right I see them mostly and that's kind of how it works the that's the Facebook algorithm now if you want to crack that algorithm if you want to break it down if you want to make it behave differently then you're going to have to um so yeah you're going to see the same stuff and, and it's it's uh when I say if you take action they'll take action it's kind of like you know you heard about the if they if you build it they will come I mean it's not exactly that statement is is not you know true to real life it doesn't happen that way you gotta there's lots more stuff that has to happen for people to come to you they have to know like trust you there's all these different things you gotta do but one of the basics of Facebook is like I said tip to uh, top top tip number two is uh engagement hack number two is if you take action they'll take action so that's what I'm talking about you have to be going through your feed you got to be commenting on stuff or liking stuff or or sharing stuff or 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 you know whatever you want people to be doing you got to be doing that and you it's not about one-on-one -on -one, it's about you liking you know post from 10 different people every single day if, how do you find those 10 people right that's that's where things get complicated or maybe <coughs> it's not complicated <coughs> but it's not uh not as simple as just going through your feed right going through your feed and liking 10 posts in here is one thing but typically it'll be like I said the same people that you see all the time is going to be in this feed so if you just engage on the stuff that's in your feed you're not going to get as great results as if you did it by going to different friends like say if I go to my friends list right 
<coughs> and I look at my friends list right oh this is friend request sorry uh da, 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 where's that I go here <coughs> sorry and I go to my friends right here so if I go to my friends list and then I basically look at my list and I go to each of those different friends and I just go to their like see the so the way that Facebook lists your friends is kind of like who you've been active with the most so these ones at the top of the list here the first few that I see here are the ones that I'm going to be seeing in my feed right so if I want to see other people's stuff I got to go down lower in my list right and I got to go find some friends that I haven't been active with in the, for a while so I can go so for example right uh well these ones I still I'm still seeing let's say let's say Brian right I go to Brian and then I go to his post and I actually comment and like on his stuff right <clears throat> and you know so much fun so you do that by the way and this is this is I want to take action on these pictures I want to say uh this you know things about this stuff and let's just say awesome stuff right whoops I let's edit that I don't have autocorrect on this keyboard <laughs> right <clears throat> and so you know I go to and the other thing you can do too is you can actually go to their friends that are mutual friends of yours or even any you know random people that you don't even know by this grows your this grows your reach by having them potentially see your stuff well first in their notification so they might go and visit your page and see oh this guy does this or this gal does that whatever so that's one of the other things you can do but the key is taking action if you don't take action they're not going to take action right so that's number two right take action they'll take action so number three right number three I always have trouble with this finger here number three <laughs> number three do for others what you want others to do for you so you got to do what you want them to do which means what does that mean right so again it's a reciprocity rule it's like I said number one remember the reciprocity rule so what does that mean if you want people to share your stuff well you should be focusing on sharing things right I mean you still have to do a little bit of the other because otherwise uh it's not you got to have some consistency or some um what's the word some some very variety in what you're doing but you should be sharing like if you want people to share your stuff make sure you share it at least once a day twice a day regularly if you're doing it twice three times a day make sure you share stuff regularly right and lots of people share things <coughs> I see people that that's all they do um if you want people to like your things or react to your things make sure you go react to their things I go back here to another another friend right uh, this, and this is the thing right now I clicked on the friend I probably shouldn't have because see how Facebook re, you know it's not going to reload so I should probably do a right click and open a new tab right click and open a new tab well, actually you know, on the on the computer you can just say control I just control 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 so I if I keep my finger on the control key and I press these uh these people as, as you can see that well you can't see on my on, on if you here you see that they're all a bunch of tabs right so if I just move that back so now if I can I can go to each of these more easily while they're loading and I can go and you know like their stuff or comment on their stuff and because my computer is a little slow that's why it's not loading right away but let me just here can I I gotta wait for it to load because I'm <laughs> and this is the thing th this is one of the things the amount of time you spend on Facebook is not always <clears throat> is not always in direct relationship to the time you have because you know like this right now this all these are loading the, I'm clicking on all the tabs they're all none of them are loading right they're going to take a little bit to load up so that's time you're spending right so if you if you know me what I want is a tool that's going to let me that I'm just going to click a button that's going to do all the work and then it's going to show me the posts <laughs> that I need to engage on right and uh, actually I'm building that but anyways that's beside the point so uh, that's one of the things right for me 
but that's still what you got to do you got to go into your feed and you got to take the action that you want them to take so if you want people to like your stuff then make sure you like stuff make sure you like stuff on your feed or directly in, in, in friends profiles or whatever however you want to do it um if you want them to comment make sure you comment on their stuff so you got to comment if you want them to comment and again like a, like I was saying earlier it's not about the one-on-one -on -one. like it's not because I comment on Norbert's stuff right here that I that he's got to comment on my stuff sure he might but that's not what you're looking for because if you're looking for that you're going to be disappointed because probably three quarters of the people that you engage on if not more are not going to take the actions you're taking on their stuff it's not about that Facebook has this algorithm that it knows that if you're engaging they're going to present your post to other people until until there's a certain reciprocity that happens that's why the that's why you engaging is going to show your stuff and people are going to see your stuff and then they're going to start engaging and it's not the same people it's it's not the same people you engage with that are going to engage with you or stuff like that right that's not what this is about so yeah it's not about that right so you have to remember that and that's again like if you remember rule number one or engagement you know hack number one it's all about reciprocity so you remember if you do these actions there other people are going to take these actions right so me right now uh, those tabs are all loaded so let me just like some of these things so I'm just going to like the top two posts of all these people that's one of the hacks right you just go and you like or in or love right and just the top two again like I said it's a little slow because my computer is busy I guess <clears throat> and the other thing one thing you might want to remember right now I'm just liking randomly right but you probably want to look at the dates if they're not if they like these are recent right so I'm just going to do that uh let's take a look I'm going to give you an example here uh so this one here right March 11th December 31st 2020 right so I mean <laughs> probably not worth really and this might be somebody that unless they're active elsewhere this might be somebody that I should unfriend because you know you got to do your <laughs> you got to clean your friend list too right but I'm just going to go right here and keep going August 2nd yeah perfect I'm going to like this too and this one too so I should be commenting as well now I'm not saying do this because this is not um and this is a uh, Marlene April 18th right so she hasn't been posting either right that's okay so I'm just going to go to the next one Matthew Wright June 10th that's a little wise that's about a month ago right so more than a month ago but I'll still you know engage maybe he's active elsewhere right um then uh, the next one June 11th again another one that's not been very active this is one thing that I would love to have my tool do is actually show me the posts that I need to comment on in some sort of other present and the other way to see much better than just having to have all these tabs but also show me just the posts that are posts that have that are recent over the last maybe week or something right instead of having to sort through this myself to go and see because right now that's what I'm doing right July 30th right that's not that old that's a few days so that's good but let's just uh, do that and this is one of the things right engaging on these posts doing these actions is definitely something August 3rd yep it's definitely something that's important you got to take action if you want people to take action on your stuff you got to take action on their stuff and this is one thing that I'm doing every day right now um not exactly the way I'm doing it right now because I'm using my phone but this is probably one of the better ways is on the computer with this this kind of approach right because you got to go got to go find friends that you haven't engaged with in a while right so now now I'm going to engage on these right and that's going to change the list of friends list now tomorrow when I go back to my friend list these people that have been engaged with will have moved up so it's always about going down the list to find the people that are less engaged that that you've been less engaged with and it's also about people that are engaged with you right so if they're engaged with you if I go to some of these these friends right here right I can actually just engage on on these friends that I haven't engaged with in a while right I can see these these other friends that I have these friends in common right or whatever I can go to their posts right I just see this August 3rd I can like that right all these friends that I have that I can engage with right so 
anyway so that's kind of how that's kind of how you do number three take action they'll take action and it's not the person that you're taking action against it's going to take action on you it's just a reciprocity thing right okay so number four number four post consistently and regularly if you don't post regularly they're not going to be able to see your stuff because you won't have to stuff to show although Facebook does have a mechanism where they I'm going to close all these tabs here they do have a way where if you post let's say you post it only once a month right which some people do by the way some people post just very very infrequently and the thing that'll happen is that if you're engaging on a whole bunch of other people's stuff right if you're if you're doing the engagement thing which is what Facebook wants Facebook wants you to be engaging they want you to be commenting they want you to be liking they want you to be sharing they want you to be replying to comments they want you to be taking all these actions so you see I'm seeing these notifications now right you they want you to take these actions because that's what the social platform is about it's about engagement it's about building connections it's about you know showing stuff to people that they're interested in right so that's kind of how it works right so um but but anyways yeah that's kind of how it works right so if you look at your friends list like this you can go through your your friends list and figure out what it is that they that you can well whatever I'm I'm battling okay anyway so that's your number uh number four post regularly so if I go to my profile right well I'm on my profile sorry go to posts now you can see that I'm posting regularly you know this is from 52 minutes ago this is from one hour ago this is an hour this is an hour I did three of them then this is 17 hours this is uh, yesterday this is yesterday August 3rd August 3rd August 3rd August 3rd and then I think August oh, still third second right the second the second so I'm posting three four maybe five posts in a day you probably want to limit yourself to that you don't want to be posting 100 posts in a day right although to be honest Facebook has this uh, mechanism where it'll it'll so if you post let's say today you, you haven't been posting for months and today you start posting 100 posts in a day it's not going to let you right it's going to consider that spam because you went from zero to 100 even zero to 20 is probably too much but if you post one post a day for like a month then you post two posts a day for a month then you well a month is probably too long maybe a week but anyways there's this the algorithm that they will allow you to post more and more and more based on what you've done before so if you're posting 50 posts a day after posting 20 posts a day regularly or maybe 30 I don't know how the numbers work I'm just saying be careful to go too big too fast just grow slowly if you want to grow but the but be consistent so if you get to a point if you want to be posting five posts a day well do it regularly do mostly five posts a day right you got to be posting and if you post and oh right I was talking about if you don't post regularly so if you post only once a week you're still gonna grow your engagement by being engaging because Facebook will show that one post to more and more people just because they're like well this person is doing lots of stuff on our platform we like them let's let's hope they stay so they're going to start sharing your stuff to try to grow your engagement on your post if you have one so I'm not really sure how it works if it is it is it you know uh 10, you know 100 likes they want you to have if you do 100 likes I don't know how that works and if you only have one post well they're going to share that same post all the time if you have 10 posts they're going to share the 10 posts and you're going to get 10 posts 10 likes per post right I don't really know that's but it is like it is like that there is a reciprocity thing that's definitely the rule reciprocity is the rule like I said number one that's it so post regularly number four is post regularly right now number five the fifth top Facebook engagement hack number five is make your post and profile public I see so many people <laughs> that post to their friends only I know I understand you know Facebook <laughs> is a friend thing it's a it's a it's a it's supposed to be a community thing it's supposed to be and you know privacy and all that and if you're if you're private and you don't want people to see your stuff unless they're your friends then that's okay that's fine 
but you're not going to be building a business if you do that a business is public <laughs> if you have a business you're trying to grow your audience trying to build your fan base trying to build your audience trying to sell trying to sell your courses trying to trying to get people to join your mastermind trying to get people to get in your list all these different things that's a business so make sure your profile is public it's very simple you go into your settings settings and privacy right here um <coughs> and and your settings <laughs> and then you go into there's different things general account settings saving and log is it in here because it changes all the time it's been a while since I've been in there uh da, da, da. no it's probably public posts there you go so public posts who can follow me so you want to make sure normally this this is set to friends by default so you should set that to public right so make sure your you people can follow you that there's a little follow button on your profile post public post comments who can comment on your public post well you should have that at public public post notifications get notifications from public sure that's probably not a big not that important public profile info make sure your profile is public off off Facebook previews when you're public group yeah that's comment ranking I oh I don't this is so one of the things I find annoying when comment ranking is turned on you'll see the most relevant I don't want to I want all comments why would I want just what Facebook thinks I want to see all the comments sure there's going to be spam and stuff but I want to see them all and that's one of the things I I'm glad I found right now the other thing is profile and tagging is there viewing and sharing who can post friends oh look at that I got no I want to have everyone in here I didn't realize that was there oh who can post okay so I guess only friends can post doesn't matter there's no option for public who can see what others post everyone yeah allow others to share your post to their stories your post oh sure okay hide comments containing certain words from the public from certain words from your profile I don't know what that's that's probably you know bad words or whatever variations numbers symbols or different spellings are automatically hidden example tree 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 really choose list of words hidden comments with these words remain visible to the people who wrote them for everyone else they're no longer visible oh, okay so you can probably put you know uh, swear words and things like that in there right but okay I'm not going to worry about that right now review post your tagged in so that's one of the things you might want to do depending on how many friends you have and what your I have this on on because I want to at least see who like especially um when somebody tries to post something where they tag me they could they're trying to sell something that happens right if you're building so I have this on so that I can ignore those and but I want to you know let my wife post pictures of their kids or something right that kind of stuff but that has to be edited review what other people see on your profile there's a view as right here right here review tags people add so that's the same thing tagging and pictures and things like that I want to review that uh but that's basically it then there's face recognition there's other things you can turn on or off that I don't necessarily have an opinion on but it's really up to you personally I have face recognition face recognition on because when other people post a picture with me in it I I want to see that right so that's kind of what that's for uh but yeah so be public and if I go back say for example let's go back to this I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you one uh that's not if I go back to I don't know you know she's definitely see she posted this to friends right here right which is okay but I would say Jamie is a is one of the marketers that I know I'm surprised that she's maybe she didn't realize but anyways it's posted to just friends right you should be posting to public see this one's uh well that's a group post it's okay uh sponsored here's another one see this one is public right Sh Sherry posted to the public that's what you should be doing you should be public make your sh posts are public because otherwise what happens is if she posts to her friends then that means that somebody who goes to your profile to see what you're about they're not even going to see that post because they're not friends with you right it's kind of like it's kind of like having a store in downtown Chicago right or New York and everything's boarded up there's no windows there's no way to see what's in the store all you have is you know my little shop the name it doesn't even say what you sell doesn't say anything the only way they can find out what you're selling and what it looks like and what the prices are is if they walk into your shop they open the door and go inside 
right that's kind of like doing that with Facebook if you want people to just they have to be your friends to see what you're about what kind of posts you have what you're trying to sell what you're trying to talk about and I'm and by the way I'm not saying that you should be posting about what you're selling that's a bad idea there's other I've done other posts on that talking about that but what I'm saying is that it should be public whatever you're posting should be public because you know when you're walking down the street and you see this my little shop you want to know what's in the shop if you don't see what's in the shop you're not even going to go in probably right chances are you won't unless some friend told you about it but chances are you won't go in the shop and that's what you're saying when you're not making your post public or your profile public you're saying I don't want you to know what I'm doing unless you, you and I are friends well how are you how are you going to connect you what you're going to right so that's that's the thing you got to make sure you post it public all right so that's that's it those are the top five Facebook hacks these are the most important things you got to remember on Facebook reciprocity remember it's reciprocity you know the, the action you take they're going to take uh, do for others what you want them to do for you post regularly and consistently and make sure everything is public all right hope you enjoyed and like I said I'm going to be building a tool too by the way if you want to if you're interested in, in finding out about the tool um I'm actually I actually created a group it's called social pro manager so if you want to go to socialpromanager.com you're going to end up on this group you can go ahead and uh and and engage right now it's I'm just posting little things in there but as I build the tool I'm going to be showing more in here so social pro manager you want to get into this group this is the group where we talk about uh well that's interesting <laughs> this is the group where we talk about uh getting um in, getting engagement on Facebook how do you do that and and it's and it's about other platforms too so but for now it's Facebook based and we're going to build this tool that will let you figure out which post to engage on so you grow your engagement so we'll see you in the next episode have a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.